It's 2019, and what I'm about to read you was literally emailed to me two days ago, and it's not a joke. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Cynic Alex, and what you're seeing right here is a completely unedited and unblurred out email that I got two days ago from this guy, this person named Rapsent. And before we get into the email, uh, and before we get into the larger uh, problem and issue of cheating and, and all this sort of stuff, I do have to say, I'm taking a risk here by not blurring anything out, but I'm doing so not only to make a point about how I feel about the situation, but also I'm putting my trust into you. And I'm basically saying that I think my fans, my subscribers, the community, you guys uh, are smart enough to know better than to email this person or go to their Facebook page. That's why I didn't do it. And I'm also not bleeping it out um, because I wanna put this moron on blast. So what am I talking about? So I received this email two days ago. Uh, I'll just read it out for you guys. Interested in promoting my Marvel Future Fight Crystal Shop, which doesn't exist, it's not a real thing. 100% no ban, 100% you cannot prove that or guarantee that, all legit top up. Every time someone has to tell you that something they're selling is legit, it's probably not legit. I can give you a free try. Why are you giving me free things? I haven't given you anything yet. That's also suspicious. If you got banned in one or two weeks, no need to pay. I thought you said it was 100% no ban. Now you're telling me if I get banned in one to two weeks, I don't have to pay you? Why the hell would I ever pay you anything? Um, also can give you a good price if you help me sell. Try me, you have nothing to lose. Actually, I have my account to lose and my dignity and possibly my money and possibly my email address and possibly my Facebook account and also my YouTube channel and my Twitch account and all of my glorious fans. Uh, thanks and have a nice day. By the way, I sell 40% off original price. So I guess the one thing that I am doing for Rap Scent is I am helping them um, by showing their name here. And if any poor sucker out there was dumb enough to actually take this seriously, I guess in that way I am partially responsible and I'm, you know, doing something wrong. But the much more worthwhile idea and the much more worthwhile opportunity that I have is to show all of you guys that this shit is real and that it's completely 100% bullshit. Now, there is a small chance, however small, that you may not get banned in the first week. You may not get banned in the second week or so on and so forth. But eventually, sooner or later, you will get caught. And it happened. Um, it happened like a year or so or two ago where a whole bunch of top level accounts, possibly people that you looked up to, possibly people that you talked to on a regular basis who played Marvel Future Fight, players that you thought had tons of money, that had tons of luck in the game, that could spend so much getting all these VIP 20 accounts and getting all these premium cards and CTPs, well, turns out they were using illegal means to get crystals and that's how they were doing it. This is, com this is the reason why all those accounts were banned. All of a sudden, Synergy, one of the largest alliances in Marvel Future Fight, was taken down completely because of these bans. So it's 100% real, and the only thing I can 100% guarantee you of is that this is a massive risk, and it's also something that will probably get you banned. So going into a little bit more detail about what I'm talking about now, I want to discuss the idea that uh, at play here and basically how this happens because I want you guys to know, you know, it's it's not just that uh, people are going around um, offering to get you crystals at a cheaper price. No, they can't just get you crystals. There's no way to gift crystals to other players in Marvel Future Fight. So essentially, any sort of any sort of situation in which you are getting something on your account that you are not paying for with your credit card would need to be done through someone else logging into your account. Now this is, in my opinion, already a form of cheating because we already have a situation uh, or we already have situations in which players let other players log into their accounts for various reasons. And that's something that you know can fall under a gray area if you think that piloting is okay or that you think it's acceptable in some way. But the bottom line is when you let anyone log into your account for any reason, whether it's just to look at your account, whether it's to, to do something for you or whether it's to give you something, you are running the risk of losing your account permanently. Furthermore, even if you don't lose your account, 
you could have your account destroyed. You could have your cards uh, that you have equipped replaced by one star cards, which you can't get back. You could have your CTPs, uh, you know, overwritten and destroyed by one star obelisks. Same thing goes for your Uru. Same thing goes for your ISO 8 sets. All of your crystals could be spent gambling on some dumb thing in the game that doesn't give you anything. Just, you know, spent on extra bios for Emma Frost. You could have all your gold flushed down the toilet. You could get kicked out of your own alliance or you could have your own alliance disband. So on and so forth. There's a lot of damage that someone can do with just like 10 minutes in your account. They don't even need that much time to make, you know, irreversible mistakes and irre do irreversible damage to your account. So there's a massive risk up front before you even get anything. Furthermore, when you think about how these crystals are being obtained in the first place, that's when you really start to see that anyone at all who supports this sort of illegal shit is contributing to more uh, theft and more criminal activity pretty much anywhere else in the world. It's not necessarily that it happens in one particular country, although you could say that certain countries have, you know, on average, more of these situations pop up or more of these websites pop up, but there's reasons for that. It's not necessarily something that I want to get into. This is not like a socio-political debate or any sort of like uh, comment on, you know, society at large and globalism, but you know, in order for someone to give you a discount on things that cost real money, that discount has to come from somewhere. In the case of mobile games, whenever you have a website that's offering you discounts uh, on items that are never discounted, like crystals. Crystals are never discounted. So how is someone going to give me a 40% discount on this? Well, you know what? The only way they can give you a discount is if they're losing money. But why would someone lose money just to give you something? In the case of a giveaway, I'm not losing anything because Netmarble is providing me with codes to give to you guys. But this is a different story. So essentially what happens, to the best of my knowledge, I don't know if this is the exact situation, but to the best of my knowledge, a random person, let's call them person A, will lose their wallet or ha have it stolen or misplaced. And of course, in their wallet is going to be, you know, possibly a credit card. And then before that credit card gets canceled, someone else who finds the credit card, let's say person B, can either sell that credit card to person C, or they can use the credit card themselves and they can make a bunch of online purchases. Even though the bank can cancel the credit card, even though the credit card company can reverse the purchases for person A, so that the person that lost their credit card doesn't actually have to pay that money, if they, if they never catch person B or person C, and if they can't get the companies that spent the money onto the credit card account purchases to refund it, that money will never be returned. You know, if I go to a corner store with someone else's credit card and I use it to buy a drink, there's no way that the convenience store, that the corner store is going to give that drink money back because I already paid, they lost the drink, and I drank the drink, so it's gone, it's over. That happens, it's extremely rampant when it comes to digital purchases because it's much harder to track where these digital purchases are coming from, and it's much, much harder to get the actors involved, in this case it would be Google or, or Apple and also Netmarble, to facilitate any sort of refund because these are all digital purchases. And so it's literally a loss, it's a massive loss either way for the company. Either they're going to lose the money if they refund it, or they're still losing the crystals anyways, um, and it can create an imbalance in the economy. So, you know, you think that's not a big deal if one person does it. Well, you go back and you look at what happened with Synergy when you had 40 guys doing that. Again, I don't know the exact numbers, but you have multiple people doing that, and they decide to group up into an alliance that creates a massive imbalance. You might say to yourself, Cynic Alex, these are whale problems. I don't give a shit. But it all trickles down to every player, and it creates this really bad bruise and this sort of negative stain on the on the player base and on the, the whole community, because imagine if the players at the top are main maintaining their position and destroying everyone else by literally doing illegal activity, literally literally helping other people um, to commit crimes. That's going to make people not want to play the game at all. Why? What's the point? Why would you compete? Why would you go and play poker if you know someone at the poker table is actively cheating and no one's punishing them for it and they're winning over and over and over again? Sure, you can play your hand of poker, you can have fun, you can win a couple dollars here and there, but they're raking in thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, or they're raking in all of these awards, all of these trophies, all of this prestige and, and these bragging rights, but they're cheating the whole time and you know it. You would probably not want to play that game anymore. You'd probably quit playing poker and go and play something else. Likewise, if you go into an MMORPG and you see someone who you're playing a game where you're not allowed to fly in the game, but they're using a hack and they're flying around the arena, 
I mean, on the one hand, it looks cool and you want to do it, but on the other hand, you're going to get pretty frustrated if they continue to throw this in your face um, and you can't do anything about it and they never get punished. It's frustrating to see people go unpunished when they willingly break the rules and ruin the experience for everyone else. And so it's a really, it's actually a pretty big problem. It's a little bit bigger um, than people might think. I don't want to blow it out into this huge, gigantic problem and this, this whole mess because I trust you guys. I think that cheating is on the downswing in Marvel Future Fight in general. Um, and I think this type of cheating with sort of like discounted crystal purchases where someone uses a stolen or lost credit card to purchase crystals on your account after logging into it and then they only ask you for a fraction of that cost because it, they're not paying anyways it's not costing them any money I think that's on the downtrend overall I think the majority of players now I mean I can't obviously say this with a hundred percent confidence because I don't know I can't see into these players accounts and see what's actually happening but my gut feeling tells me that the majority of players now at the top in Marvel Future Fight are there legitimately they are spending their own money or their family's money in a way that is not you know hurting other people who lose things or misplace things um, in the real world there is obviously still some cheating that goes on in the game when it comes to things like world event where you know it's obvious when a player who has an account that's five or six days old is getting a maximum score with a really terrible team like they get three million points with lash whiplash and deathlock there's just no way that's possible we know that there's always going to be some manipulation uh, of pretty much any game. It's almost impossible to 100% stamp out cheaters in any game. You look at everything, World of Warcraft, you look at Apex Legends, you look at Fortnite, you look at Marvel Future Fight, you look at Marvel Contest of Champions, you look at any game, mobile, PC, PS4, anything, and you will find at least a handful of cheaters everywhere. You can even find cheaters at live events like at fighting game tournaments. There's really um, no way to stop it completely, but I think doing videos like this i think bringing it to your attention explaining to you guys how it works talking to you and trusting you to know better than to actually do it um i think is the right move rather than ignoring the topic and not talking about it and making it taboo and then allowing other people to spread misinformation you know you might if i never made this video you might hear from someone else you know what i didn't do it but a friend of mine did it and nothing happened to their account man they got they got five thousand crystals and they paid ten dollars doesn't that sound great Instead of getting, you know, instead of getting a bio sub, you could get 5,000 crystals. You could roll, you know, you could you could gamble so many times. You could get a CTP of rage. You might hear these things, and maybe it doesn't tempt you this time, but maybe next time it tempts you, and maybe you try it, and then maybe you lose your account, and then there's no going back from there. So hopefully, my hope, my 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 real deep down hope is that uh, everyone who watches this video never follows that kind of advice, never follows those links, never follows the, follows these dumb ass emails. Um, I'll be following up as well privately with Netmarble to hopefully have this person uh, shut down in some way, at least their Facebook page, um, and hopefully, you know, we can keep the game fair. And that if you want to whale out, you're going to have to do it the, the old-fashioned way with your credit card and or your parents' money uh, and not somebody else's money that you didn't earn. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this. It's a pretty... It's a pretty you know, not, I don't want to say dangerous, but it's a pretty, you know, not edge of the knife type uh, topic to talk about. So yeah, hit me up. Let me know if you uh, have any ideas or comments about the way that I presented it uh, and the, the situation and the uh, topic in general. Subscribe if you enjoy and you want to continue to support me. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.